Hello everyone, this is Zahid from Inspire and Ignite and you are watching the final interview with Nikhil who scored All India 4th rank in GATE 2011 for Electronics and Communication Engineering paper. In this interview, Nikhil is exclusively going to talk about how to write GATE exam, how to make best use of those 3 hours and exploit the negative marking system by which you get the deserving rank for your preparation. This is a very important interview for every single student who is preparing and appearing for GATE exam. So without further delay, I would like to introduce you the whole interview with Nikhil. Oh, I would like to ask you something very important about the GATE exam itself. Okay, you yeah. you, you prepared for the exam for four or five months and you are like, you give your best practices. I mean, you solve the question papers, you made the notes, you made the formula list and everything. But you know that, that three hours is... Three hours are more important, right? How how do you manage that three hours is more important? Yeah, uh, I told now uh, I, I had taken uh, so many practice the So one one strategy I had in had in my mind was like uh, I should cover those uh, whole sixty two questions within the first one and a half hour, mm -hmm. and then I should go. Uh, I may be skipping uh, so many questions because they may be hard as they may take some time. So one thing is like, like filter out questions. Uh, mm -hmm. There may be easy questions which may be at the end of the paper. It may be like that. Nikhil, so your, if, your, Nikhil, Nikhil, one second. Your voice is cutting so I will call you back, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, one second, one second, I'll call you back. Huh? Hello, Nikhil. Ah, yes, I oh, So, uh, we were talking about the gate exam itself. Ah, yeah. So, so uh, yes, I did. Yeah, Hello? so I, I want to ask you, like, how did you manage your that three hours? Ah, okay. So, it's all about filtering questions, right? Uh, there may be some very hard questions. There may be easy questions and uh, there may be average questions and they will be just scattered around. Mm -hmm. So, uh, one common, uh, common mistake most of the students commit uh, will be like, okay, they will start from the beginning and mm -hmm. they may be getting stuck at, at some hard questions and they will spend a lot of time on that and finally they won't be able to cover the whole question. Mm -hmm. And some easy questions may be hiding at the end of the question paper. They may not be able to see that. This thing should be avoided. Okay, so you mean you mean like uh, you mean like you you read the question. If it is hard question, just leave it and go to the next question and try to solve it. Ah yeah yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, one other idea most of students will tell is like uh, firstly they uh, they should go through the full questions and they should mark uh, categorize questions like this. E for E C. Mm -hmm. M for medium, mm -hmm. but I think that will take some time. So mm -hmm. the better one will be like this, uh, this itself. That is, start assembling question paper itself, but I, 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 I don't see, if you feel that it's hard, then just mark it and leave it uh, for a later time and just go through, uh, go to the next question. That will be better. So actually, my strategy before uh, appearing uh, gate was like, I should uh, cover uh, the whole question paper in a one and a half hours. Uh, maybe I may not be getting uh, some fifty percent of the questions, but it doesn't matter. I should uh, tell to myself that okay, I have got this much. Okay, uh, I'll 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 get more questions into my net. It's like <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, catching something <laughs> oh, yeah. from a point of. Each time we, we go. So uh, you, whole when you went to when you went to exam, when you started writing yeah. the gate paper, so you yeah. started the uh, you started solving the question paper from from first question, right? First question and then yeah. keep on going yeah. on. And what what did you do when you, you when you encountered a hard question? Yeah, I just marked it, uh, okay. and also this mark is very important. We should mark it so clearly that we should be able to see it. I just marked it and uh, left it for a later time. So, uh, okay. And uh, yeah. 
So like uh, and also for some questions uh, we might have spent them spend some time and uh, we 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 we, uh, we might be able to eliminate some choices and all. We should mark those things and also okay. and in the next step uh, we should start right from uh, where we stopped. Okay. So uh, how how do you manage your time last five to ten minutes? How was that? Last five to ten minutes. Also, this uh, this pause was again and again continuing. That is, I have marked some questions. I, I should uh-huh. take that try. So you and also you, we should I do, uh, those marks also. One uh, there may be some one marks which are very very tough, and there may uh, there may be some two marks which are comparatively less tough. Mm-hmm. Uh, but oh, in such a case, there's a day uh, we should obviously go for that higher rated ones. Okay, so I, I have one, one important question here. Like, uh, have you started two marks question first? I mean, answering two marks questions first, or like started with one mark questions first? Actually, my plan was like, uh, with uh, I should uh, go go through the. One more question within half, first half an hour, whether it is uh, 50% at, at, attempt uh, rate or uh, ratio or 25%, whether uh, it doesn't matter. I, I have to uh, somehow cover that one more question within the half hour, half an hour, first half an hour so that I, I could go uh, attempt uh, the two marks, the higher weightage ones as early as possible. And later uh, I can go to that one mark questions after going through the whole question level once. Okay. So that uh, as, uh, in this process one should be able to get as much of easy problems as okay. uh, he could. Yeah. So I mean like they, they so, get easy questions from one mark and they also get easy questions from two marks and then go back to one mark hard questions and then keep the process. Yeah. yeah. For me it was like first half an hour for this uh, one more question, uh, it, it is some 25, right? First 25. Yes. And then uh, the next one hour for the re- uh, remaining two more questions. And within uh, that one, one and a half hour, I'll be able to uh, cover the whole questions. I may not be able to uh, solve some 50% of the questions. But later I can again uh, continue the same, but can reduce uh, my time. Uh, According to question weightage, easiness and all. One, one, one more thing, like we also have negative marking in gate, right? Yeah. So how do you manage? Like for example, if some question is difficult, you left it and after you come back and it is still difficult and you have only 5 to 10 minutes to finish the exam. So what do you do that? Like do you attempt the question or do you leave the question or like what do you do with the questions? To take best, it uh, that, yeah, it depends on that uh, question paper pattern. So suppose uh, my question paper is very easy, then mm-hmm. we should uh, we should try to score as much. But at the same time, we should not take uh, risks, uh, risks also. But the thing is, like suppose uh, I know uh, some six questions, mm-hmm. of which four I am almost sure, mm-hmm. and then. Uh, uh, okay, some fifty uh, percent. Uh, okay, some sixty percent. Uh, I am sure. Okay, it should be answer. And then, I think they can take uh, risk on some. If he is sure, some sixty percent sure about one question. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have already got uh, some uh, four questions. Right? Then, okay. Anyway, even if it, it's it's just a balance of things. That is, okay. I got four questions uh, right then for the fifth question I am having some 60-70% uh, certainty okay I will go for that okay. if if I get that mark that will be very uh, very very valuable but uh, on the other hand anyway I got 4 and then still the, uh, considering the negative mark the ratio will be bit less so uh, I think they can take such an approach okay. that's uh, Okay, if 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 someone someone is not sure that like he has done good in the gate exam, and uh, there are a lot of questions left, so what do you suggest? Like attempt all the questions and like try their luck. 
I never uh, say that because if it is point to five hours, then two things it is point to five car and that will get me stranded. That is true too. Yeah. So, w- w- I don't one think more, so. One question is, one question is like. Uh, what was you what do you think it was uh, very difficult in your like what did you what was your mistake in gate exam you you think like everyone should avoid that yeah one thing i used to say was, was this one that is they should not stack on some particular hard question mm-hmm. and then the other one is they should not get frustrated if they see one hard question or something Mm-hmm. and uh yeah this 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 is a nice thing i guess so you 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 suggest student to not to get frustrated and don't stuck on hard questions like keep your time keep a watch on your time and just move on right yes yes so let me ask you one 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 thing about yourself your family and your friends when when you saw the get results what was what was your reaction so uh, before just uh, on the uh, day before uh, uh, this get results arrival as i having an exams uh, it was the start of and uh, exams for us so it is kind of busy but, but still Finally, i don't able to focus yeah uh it was actually indian exams Uh-huh. So I was not that kind of focused into these exams and all because I was very then <laughs> whether I would. But thing was uh, like uh, this gate question was very easy, right? So I was not uh, that kind of sure. Okay, whether I would get into some to- top twenty-five or so. But finally, I got ranked for and it happened. Uh, uh, I watched the result uh, in my teacher's cabin. Uh, his name was Karthi, and he was helpful. And uh, along with my friends, I was watching the results. So he hugged me, and just after that, I called my parents, my teachers. And they were all happy, <laughs> and it was like that. And for um, yeah. So you felt you felt your hard work paid off, right? Yeah, it was actually. I should say that uh, I I was uh, very hard and that's why I got in J A C. That's nice. Well, how about your reaction of your study group? Pardon? How was your reaction with your study group? I mean, when they come to, came to know that like someone who was studying with us got all in their fourth rank, how did they feel? They, yeah. they must have been surprised. Right. Right? Pardon? they must have been surprised i guess <laughs> yeah yeah they, they were actually telling to their like oh my friend nikhil uh, who is always will be good uh, yeah, for forget and things like that and yeah do you want to give any final message to the students who are preparing for get yeah one thing uh, one teacher always tell to me is like it's actually put by swami vegananda that uh, race awake and not stop till the goal is reached that's what i have to say for all the students they should be focused and uh, they should try their best and they should our uh, our for the just for the time be from long telephone conversations and uh, facebook or could etc and just focus on their studies and finally uh, their hard work should pay uh, get paid off that's what i have to tell thank you nikhil it was really nice talking to you and i think this will help a lot of students in india it was really nice thanks for watching the interview and i hope it definitely motivated and charged you to prepare sincerely for get exam I would like to request you to subscribe to Inspire and Ignite YouTube channel by which you get the next coming interviews with gate toppers and other educational experts who are going to talk about 
educational opportunities both in India and abroad. At the end, I would like to thank you all for your support and constant encouragement and wish you a wonderful luck. Thank you so much for joining us.